Hey, what's up everyone? Mark King here, and this is a, a story from Zero Hedge, okay? So it's a very uh, important story. Um, it's more like a um, a soft news piece. Um, it, you know, it's been, okay, so this is simply talking about free book burning to statue toppling. History shows free speech is loser and mob rule. Absolutely, okay? Um, this is authored by Jonathan Turley. Um, it was in the Hillary thing originally and um, I learned that one of the most iconic busts of George Washington University had been toppled on my own campus I did not learn this from the university which is conspic conspicuously silent okay the reason for this the university itself is complicit is, is complicit and uh, I'll keep saying it, they, they've been infiltrated by Marxists. Okay, there's something eerily familiar in the scenes of bonfires with police watching passively as public art is destroyed. Such acts are akin as mobs un unilaterally destroy images they don't want others to see. Again, this, these are dangerous things, so what they're going to do is ultimately replace it with a false a false version you can you can see you can say it as a they'll replace it with a false deity a false idol that's what's going on here the media is largely comp um, downplayed by violence but again the media has been infiltrated by the Marxists itself okay okay everybody with common sense knows it's wrong to destroy property everybody with common sense knows it's wrong to destroy art Everybody with common sense know it's wrong to to destroy religious um, artifacts. Anyway, as discussed earlier, history has shown that yielding to such marble will do little to satiate the demand of um, unilateral and at times violent actions. People of good faith must step forward, absolutely, but um, no one knows why, right? More people disagree with this stuff that... that you know, like that then support, okay? Um, no, it's it's just quite an interesting phenomenon. Usually, you'll see like a, a pushback. What I'm guessing, uh, this is just me. Um, they they they're afraid, but also too, they they don't view property as. How do I say this? As they were doing family members. So if your family member gets attacked, that's when you react. That's what I'm thinking here. But I'm not sure. Now, it's just very scary. Like, again, you have to preserve these things. When they go after simple things like flags, it's not enough. Alright? Again, history gives us pride, good and bad. Okay? History is important. Okay? Bad history to some is good history to others. It's plain and simple. This is why when you import people, you have to import people with um, similar um, thinking as the as the um, population at large. <clears throat> the scenes have played out nightly on our television screens. The Portland flag was wrapped around the head of a statue of George Washington and burned. No, another possible theory is these are happening in um in liberal communities so there is less how do i say this less patriots more marxists more communists okay more leftist more liberals okay so that's probably the real reason why there hasn't been real pushback that's my thinking right now Alarming this destruction of the public art coincident, coincides with the crackdown of academics and writers who criticize any aspects of protest today. So there it is. So much like um like cults, right? I've explained this previously, but for those who are new who, who have never heard it, what cults tend to do, they tend to eliminate the free thinkers or those who aren't in line. So if you want to know how somebody gets tons of followers, they weed out people that disagree, disagree with them. Okay? For free speech advocates, there is an airy 
can candescence in these scenes, flaming, illuminating faces, and utter rage, and even ecstasy and destroying public art. Again, is it quite um, interesting that those who claim to be anti Nazis are, are, <laughs> are the ones burning and raging in the street? Okay. Yet today there is no room or time for such reasoned discourse, just destruction that often transcends any rationalization of history. Rattles defaced the Lincoln Memorial in Washington and the statue of Abraham Lincoln in London. <sighs> this saddens me. Right? But once again, this is what happens. This is a product of 1960s free love culture where the um, the communists infiltrated Hollywood, the media, the corporations, the educational system, and other facets, okay? What they want is demoralization as a country, and they'll guise it as violence, as um, violence as social justice, and they'll claim it's justified. And if you don't know, social justice is a Marxist is a Marxist um, initiative okay when you see social justice in the school system they're really pushing Marxism and about 95% of the people in the school system are idiots they don't know what they're really doing when you see the the LGBT nonsense is exact same concept okay it's social justice everybody knows every okay so how they say is these um these uh social justice stuff essentially it goes against reality it goes against nature okay and people who who go along with it want to keep their jobs like me or uh, or or simply um simply haven't thought about something being good or bad or they don't realize it or also they um how do i say this they they want to virtue signal by denying reality okay they don't understand that people aren't born. Okay, people, people. Okay, people aren't born equal. So this is what makes people angry. Like if you look at the social justice mobs, it's usually filled with unattractive people. It's just the way it is. You never see a usually um, how do I say it's a well endowed woman <laughs> or a really masculine man in the crowd. It'll always be someone who's slightly unattractive in in either their either there usually everything's physical okay everything everything is the way you the way you essentially see it in the truest term okay it's reality okay unattractive people hate other people naturally okay okay Th these are things people know in back of their minds they just don't want to admit because they'll make them a bad person okay anyway um and the thing is about equality, right? There is no, there's no religion I've ever heard of that says we're 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 all equal. Okay, even the Bible it's about merit and deeds. Okay, all religions that I know of is about merit and deeds. Okay, if a religion talks about equality, it's not a real religion. <laughs> it's fake. It's social justice. It's propaganda. Okay, the communists know this. Okay. So I don't want to bore anybody by continuing, but anyway, the systematic destruction of public art is now rationalized as the natural release of anger by those who have been sound smart. Again, unattractive people, okay? It's as simple as that. People want to try to sometimes put spin on things. A lot of these people in the crowds, they're unattractive. That's it. Okay? And it's Again, I've been different places. I've worked different areas. I've been in the school system. There's nothing you can do about the natural differences between looks, and this 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 kind of starts um, very early on. It starts to anger issue in people. Okay, there's nothing you can do about it unless you uh, push social justice where you try to make uh, ugly is beautiful. <laughs> I'm just being real and being honest, okay?
These are, these are what people don't really want to talk about and admit to themselves. Okay, I, I've been in, I don't really want to talk about I don't want to talk about like that um, in details. But I've, I've seen like, I've seen kids, they, they know early on, right? But again, you, 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 these things, it shouldn't matter, okay? But, but these things are in back of people's minds. This is why I think um starts the, the path up to okay. So the people like again, it's always the least capable, least attractive people. They seem to become social justice warriors. This is what happens, and this is just honesty. Yeah. Anyway, um, however, we now increasingly join the mom in demanding a termination of rest um, restraining of academics again. These academics, they're they're evil, and what they do is the the weed out people who who are against social justice. Okay, so and what you tend to do is is you weed out men. Okay, men are kind of like the um, real men. I'm talking about right. They're kind of the pushback against social justice because they're logical because they um they have. Um, more advanced logical thoughts right women's thoughts okay so women's logic tends to end at compassion men can move past compassion okay they can move past that stage okay that's why everything woman usually ends with crying okay men logical mode doesn't end with crying And the scary part is they'll destroy all art value and they, again they will come from Jesus they will they will it will be interesting to see what happens if they if their right will react but I only think they'll react if they come into their communities it's alright if they destroy liberal communities okay that's my thinking again Marxist these are these are the black black ones again this is these are the violence and the thing is they're very well um Funded, at least the people on top. Um, they look like they're well organized and well trained, and they also know the way the media will portray them. They're the good guys. Okay, the media is corrupt. One of the ways you stop um, communism actually is you need the media on your side. Okay. Unfortunately, the media is not on the. The media is too far gone. Unfortunately. Okay. I hate to say it like that, but the media is really too far gone, and there's no easy answers. You have to enact um, serious, serious measures. Okay, like the Insurrection Act. Okay, you, you, you basically the way to stop the propaganda from the communists. You really have to push nationalism, and what will happen is people will, will, will be so. How do I say this? The reaction one day will be absolutely devastating for the right. They'll take their own hands, or they elect a um, a a a far, 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 far um, right president. And this is the scary thing. I see a lot of conservatives want Donald Trump to be more um, totalitarian. Is I understand, and in the end, it's probably the right course of action. But it, it goes against everything that that we're taught to believe in in elected leaders. Okay, unfortunately, at least right now, it's it's not going to happen. But just look at what happened to in Weimar Germany, in Weimar Germany, what the reaction was to what you saw in the streets, what people saw in the streets. There will be a similar reaction. Okay, because history is a hundred for a hundred. It tells us exactly what will happen. Okay, it tells us why feminism will fail. It'll tell us why civilization will collapse. It tells us who wins wars. All right, share, save, subscribe. I rambled a little bit at the end, but hopefully something was of interest. Share, save, subscribe. Thumbs up. Bye.